What's up guys, JJ here, and we're outside today. And if we're outside, that probably means we're checking in on the pond. It's been like months since I've given you guys an update on the pond, um, and we got a lot to do to it. I wanna basically drain it most of the way out, see what's in there, see if we have anything new. Um, my, I don't even really know how many fish are in there. So we're gonna check that out and figure out who needs to go where if they need new homes. Uh, so let's get right into it. So this is the stock tank pond we put in a while back. I don't know, it's been up for since last summer, I guess. And it had some goldfish. I've been putting fry in there um, that were getting a little too big for the grow out tanks or if I didn't have room in the fish room. So I've put a few things in here since and hopefully they've grown up and we're gonna check it out. And I know you guys can't see specifically what's in there now. You can see the bigger goldfish. But I've got quite a few things in there. And some of them are gonna have to come out. I gotta find out what's in there. So we're gonna do a big water change, basically drain the whole thing and catch as much as we can that we have another place to take. Cause a lot of the fish I was breeding last year were African cichlids and I need to add some more fish to my African cichlid tank. So now they're hopefully big enough to hang with mom and dad in the big tank. I didn't wanna put them in too soon and them get eaten. I also had a flower horn back then in that tank that definitely would have eaten them. So things have changed. So here's our African cichlids. And if you've been watching for a while, you know I've bred plenty of yellow labs. This guy is my stud. He's the tank boss right here. And um, we've had some aggression problems. So I had to take a couple of fish out of here. And then this guy has managed to uh, beat up a, co a couple other ones and they didn't make it. And I think since uh, we've had less fish in that tank, we've had more problems with aggression. So it seems like what they say about not necessarily, not necessarily overcrowding your tank, but definitely making sure that you have enough African cichlids put together so they don't just get to pick on one or two. So I am actually really excited to add some more fish to it so maybe they can spread out the aggression a little bit. And speaking of breeding, I've got a little mama back there who should be ready to spit. So we're probably gonna strip the fry and see if we can put her back in the big tank today as well. So we've got a plan. We've got to drain the pond, catch the fish, see what's in here, find them a home in the African cichlid tank if they fit. We've got to strip some fry and uh, set up something for those babies as well. So gonna be a busy day. So I don't know how many of you guys saw me make this filter, but it's totally homemade. With just like a tote and a pump and some filter material. But it's also gonna be the secret on how we change this water. But what we're gonna do is unplug this pump and this output. I'm just gonna put a longer hose on it so we can drain it to not the patio. We've got the pump hooked in to our hose. And hopefully my patio is not a mess. But we've got it all going out to the yard. Which is great, because we've been having kind of a drought. We haven't been getting as much rain as normal. So I'm sure my grass will appreciate this. Oh, and while it's open, check out this bog filter too. It's gross, but basically, it's just that pump, and it's sucking 400 gallons per hour through some filter material. But we're gonna dump that out since we've got it open. And anytime I have extra water change water that I need to dump somewhere, I just dump it in my plants back here. And those will grow nice and healthy and eventually they'll be on jjgills.com. But yeah, now you can see how the filter's set up. This sponge is like where the pump is. Kind of sucks through the filter material. A lot of debris gets stuck down in the extra gravel here. And it's doing an okay job for a basically a sump I built for $20. But we're gonna let this pond drain down for another 20 minutes or so, and then we should be able to see what we're working with. Like, check out these goldfish. Oh, hello. My guy's hiding in the, in the uh, pot right there. But you can see the goldfish are almost the size of my hand now. So if you think you can keep a goldfish in a bowl, you can't. So I'm gonna get out a little bit of this decor, 
Anything that might get in the way, we're gonna pull that out, and then we're gonna start scooping fish. We just tried to make sure they had a few hiding spots, just in case we had more breeding or more fry. This basket was actually cool because the babies can swim in here, but they can't really get chased in there by anything. Some old terracotta pots. I do love these as decor. Nice cheap decor. Anything else? Just gravel. Although, you guys ever seen a snail like this? This snail is huge, and they're actually invasive down here. So I caught it one day while I was scooping some other stuff uh, by the canal, and I couldn't throw it back, so I kept it. All right, what do we have in here? There's a big lab there. He might have actually been taken out of the big tank earlier. Okay. Not the goldfish. Actually, just want you to see how big they are. Calm down. Daddy, chill. He's a meaty boy, and these are just like 25 cent goldfish. Right. But this is your home, you're staying in there. Everybody else, this was just a hotel. Ooh, this lab was a baby when I put it in here. Now it's definitely big enough to hang with others. Ooh, we've got a mama here. This actually happened last time I've caught some fish out of here. She's holding some eggs. You can't see them. But I'm going to put her in a different container. We'll put her in a grow out tank. But definitely, she's got a few babies in there. Alright, we got a couple in that scoop. Getting better at this. Couple more labs. This one might be holding too, actually. Yep. This big boy was definitely taken out of the other tank from aggression, but we're going to put him back in. Good size on this one. Okay, I know we have more than just labs in here. Oh, oh, here's something. Goldfish got in the way. But look how big and pretty that is for a 25 cent fish. That was just a little feeder goldfish two years ago. But you're in the way, get out of the way. There we go. Look at that, got a couple of peacocks. Oh, and look at the color on this guy. Look at the color on this guy. Isn't that beautiful? And he's still pretty small when he gets big. He's going to color up so nicely. I am so excited to have him and the African cichlid tank inside. We got another one that scoop. This one might be a female. Hard to tell. It might just be late to color up. Couple more. Now, 
I don't think this one's a late bloomer. This one looks to be just a female. So we're gonna put her in there. Ooh, this pleco got chunky out here. Can you guys see it? Got a chunky bristle nose out here, and I think we have a female. I should probably hold on to her. No, I've got a breeding pair that's doing fine. I'll leave her out here. Another peacock. I think this one might be a male. It's starting to get some color, but maybe not. <laughs> I forgot this guy was in here. He was just a quarter too. I think I got him as a uh, like a rosy, like a feeder minnow. You're gonna stay out here, bud. Goldfish, go to the other side. Go to the other side. It's another little baby. You got another little baby so small you guys probably can't even see it. I'll circle it and post. Got another peacock. There we go. That's the last species that I know is in here. Oh, and he's a wiggler. Chill out, baby. Well, that's one of my electric blue acaras that's been growing up. Put it out here as a little fry. He's getting chunky. These are Sully's babies, if you guys have seen Sully in another video. So I think that's about all I'm going to be able to catch out of here. There might be one or two that I didn't see, but they'll be fine out here. And we got to get some water back in this thing to get the goldfish and whatever's left nice and comfortable again. Okay, we're inside because remember we have those two females who are holding eggs so I'm gonna catch them out and we're just gonna put some gentle pressure right behind the gills relax mama I'm gonna go ahead and strip these fry spit them out Spit them out. Alright, I think that's it for her. Same thing, gentle pressure behind the gills. Oh, she had more in there. I think the other one spit some when I caught her. All right, I think that's it. Look at all those little babies in there. Babies I would have never known about if I didn't drain the pond today. There it is, another little baby. This one might be too big to put with the lab grots, but I have a different tank it can go in. So we've got these three nice healthy females who have just delivered and all the fish that we just scooped out. And they're all ready to go in the big tank together. I just wanted to look at this guy one more time before we put him in. And he's just a little guy, not even all the way colored up. But that blue is gonna be so nice. Okay, let's put our mamas in there. 
There you go, mamas. And everybody else. Look at that guy. Such a pretty fish. Now they just kicked up a bunch of dust, so we're gonna let the dust settle, and then we'll check in for our final shots on this tank. So I got those lab fry under an air stone. Not as many as I thought I'd get from three mamas, but we'll grow those up, and in a few days they'll be ready to go to like a 10 gallon, and then when they're big enough for the goldfish not to eat them, they'll grow up into the pond. So it's been a couple of days and everything's pretty good. I had two males that just weren't getting along so I ended up putting one of them back in the pond before they tore each other apart. And everything else is pretty nice. Everybody is um, getting along and I actually have a new female that's holding eggs already. So we're going to keep an eye on that. We're going to give you guys plenty of updates. So make sure you're subscribed. If you need any aquarium plants or products or you want to get some merch from your boy, don't forget to check out jjgills.com. And I'll see you in the next one.